Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel if you're a subscriber and if you're not, I ask that you would hit the subscribe button and hit that bell so that you know when I am putting out some new videos, just make sure it's a solid color. I am not showing myself on video right now. I already took off my makeup. I am turning in for the night. It is almost two o'clock in the morning. But I just wanted to check in with you guys and say hello so you didn't think I forget about forgot about you. Um, so the downstairs of the house is still a mess. <laughs> um, we're still trying to get things situated. Um, we just had way too much stuff for this place, but we're trying to make it work. Um, I had a big dresser that I actually sold. Um, I had bought it off of a friend of mine back down in Florida, but there was no way that it was going to fit up here, so we had to sell it. So um, we actually had a credit with Rooms to Go Outlet from down in Florida where you can make payments on things. Uh, pretty decent payments uh, it's for scratch and dent and we actually found I guess you would call it a tall boy it is a five drawer chest and it's really big and it's really pretty um, if you can see the details on it I'm trying to show you it's uh, supposed to be antiqued and it's beautiful beautiful piece of furniture there's the bottom and then it goes up to the top, all the way up there. And I was watching a YouTube video before I started this. Now, this is the new one, and that is an average size chest. Look at the difference in size. So, <laughs> this is taking the place of my dresser that I could not get up here. Um, when you live on a, in a townhome, you discover that you cannot do certain things that you could in a one-story house like getting heavy furniture up the stairs so um that is my new chest and the drawers are nice and deep and um, when this one is paid off um, good possibility that I'm going to get a second one over there and I have two of them and get rid of that which, uh, that's actually a pretty decent chest. It's solid wood. And my husband started sanding it down because we were going to stain it. But it's solid wood, so I'm going to see if I can maybe sell it. Um, and or my husband might take it. But So it is in the 40s tonight, and we did... Um, we did have the heat on, but we're trying to keep it fairly low. So I got my little heater, fireplace heater. And I love these things because it looks like a fireplace, but it's not. It just blows out some nice warm air. So I'm just heating up my room before I go to bed. And yeah, I didn't think I'd show you guys. These townhouses actually have hardwood floors, like real hardwood floors. Uh, that's not laminate, that's wood. And it's all throughout the whole upstairs, which is nice. I had to um, dig out the jackets. <laughs> so they're hanging up there. I've been doing some hoodies and some jackets. Um, hasn't been too bad during the day. Uh, they were actually going to have a day this week where it's going to be uh, 75 so during the day. So I think we're going to actually venture out and check out the river walk. Uh, we are only a few minutes away from the river, so we, there's actually a path behind the townhomes where you can take it down to the river walk. And we're going to go check it out because we have yet to see the river other than crossing the bridge into Alabama. So we're gonna go check that out and uh, see what it looks like. Something to do just to get out because um, the next few days we're gonna spend really cracking down on trying to get all this stuff unpacked. 
So um, that's what we're going to do. And I need to get the clothes that go in that thing put in there because I have boxes of clothes. Um, there's a box, two boxes over there. Um, one of those boxes is clothes that have to be hung up in the closet and one is clothes that need to be put into the the chest um, kind of been living out of boxes because of the fact of not being able to get my dresser up here so now I have a place to put my clothes and these these drawers are much deeper than that dresser was so I should be able to get everything in there without a problem uh, plus I'm gonna go through some stuff and we need to uh, we need to minimize, get rid of some stuff. Uh, we need to seriously get rid of some stuff. We've got way too much stuff. Um, go through boxes, go through bins, go through clothes, go through everything. Um, you know, I'll show you an example. Um, I come over to my closet, my giant closet which it's cold in there because there's no heat in there. But all of this is suitcases full of my clothes, which is what I've been living out of. And uh, boxes, reborn stuff and clothing and stuff up there. The baby's all sleeping. And it is cold in there because there's no heat. So... Yeah, so that stays closed so that my room will stay warm. My jewelry armoire is still tied up because that's the way it was from the move. And as you can see, it is, it's late. So I'm not gonna keep uh, doing a video. Um, I got my nice, warm, thick, soft, cuddly comforter on my bed. Uh, it was too warm to use in Florida, but here it's been definitely being put to use. Um, I, I've been sleeping pretty good with the cooler weather. Uh, I love it as far as the coolness goes. Um, I'm just going to focus on that. And uh, I can't complain. I do not miss the heat of Florida at all. I'm very happy with what I'm seeing down here. There were some really, really pretty trees uh, that we saw today uh, with the oranges and the, the reds and something that I missed seeing because don't see that down in Florida. Very pretty. So we might take a ride up to the, uh, towards the Georgia mountains and go take some really pretty pictures, maybe do a video so I can show you guys and um, so far everything's going good here. I'm, I'm loving it and my husband's loving it. So we just need to, uh, we're gonna get a shed to put out in the back so that we can store our stuff because right now there's like nowhere to put anything. So we need to uh, come up with a, a plan for storage and then we'll be good, we'll be golden. Um, the stairs, it's a workout. Um, I used to do it at work, so I'm used to it, but my husband is not, so it's going to take some getting used to, but we'll be fine. We will be fine. Um, please, um, again, that Princess Charlotte doll is lowered in price. She is $270, including the shipping. So... 250 plus which is 270 I really need to sell her um, again she'd make a really good Christmas present um, I got her as a gift from somebody but she sat in a bassinet or in a bouncy seat I did change her but that was it I held her every now and again but she wasn't uh, mistreated or no children played with her. It was just me. So I really do need her to sell. So if you're interested, get a hold of me on my Facebook page at Debbie's Dreamy Dolls. And um, I, 
can always make you a doll too. If you contact me and let me know what doll you want. Uh, my prices are fair and I guess that's it. Um, my eyes are starting to get really heavy. I should probably get going. And I wanted to do a poll and ask you guys. We are going to be putting our Christmas tree up soon. And we were trying to decide what color to do. Now, I have several colors for my tree. I have the purple and the pink that you saw that I had last year. I have blue and silver. And then I have red and gold. I am actually aiming for the blue and silver because we haven't had it in a while. But I just wanted to see what everybody thinks. I think it would look pretty. I have an angel that has silver in it, which would look really pretty. Or I also have a silver star. So, what do you guys think? Let me know. Alright, well, I hope you guys all have a great wonderful and blessed evening come back and visit again soon and I will talk to you later bye for now guys thank you for watching my video and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and don't forget if you want to see more videos like it make sure that you click on that bell so that it's a solid color so you get notified when there are new videos so thank you again for watching and have a great day